Cool. Hello everyone, um, today I'll just be running a quick demonstration of the remote labs. In order to access the remote labs, you simply have to click on the remote lab icon on the top left of the screen. And when this happens, you should get a drop down and a list of all the labs that are currently available and up and running. In this case, we just have one for demonstration purposes, but in order to do so, you just have to click on the icon that says Control Remote Computer and then simply type in the password that's been given to you to access the lab. And once you have access, you should be able to control the remote lab computer that runs all the software for the remote lab. Um, this remote laboratory was for um, Applied Electricity 1, which is some for electrical apprentices. Uh, it was just a simple Ohm's Law laboratory which allowed them to just flick a few switches, as you can see on the screen here, that allowed them to uh, just play around with the voltages and try and determine the current values. So I'll just run a quick demonstration of the lab now. I just click the little run arrow up the top screen. And in order to generate a voltage, I just click Start New Test. And the voltage just changes accordingly every time I click Start New Test. So if we have a voltage of 6.3, and we switch in the 6.7 kilo ohm resistor. We just have to do a quick Ohm's law calculation, which is just 6.3 divided by 6.7 kilo ohms. And then we just simply type in our current value. And that gives us the required current. And they can, the students were just able to click the switches in and out. And that just gave them different resistor combinations, which allowed them to try and calculate a different current. Um, if we go back to the remote lab desktop, we can click on the view lab cameras. And this actually allows them to see the physical lab that's set up behind, behind the computer and what the computer is operating. As you can see on the, the left camera, you can see a multimeter, which is actually connected to the circuit. And you can see that it parallels the voltage that has been created on the program. So the program is helping generate the voltage, and the multimeter just confirms that this voltage is real, and it's measuring something on an actual physical circuit. Um, all the messy wires that you can see on the right-hand side of the screen, that's the actual circuit that's been developed for the students. It's just got three resistors coming off what is a relay switchboard, and this relay switchboard corresponds to the switches that you can see here on the screen. So every time they click the switch, they, are, they click one of the resistors you can see in the circuit here, in and out of the circuit. Yep, okay, so if I hit start new test and generate two volts, as you can see it's changed to two volts on the multimeter. So it's quite quick, it's very responsive, we've got negative 9.4. I've got negative 9.4 displaying on the multimeter. And so if we change the resistance value to 9.84 kilo ohms, we just have to divide our voltage, which is negative 9.4, by 9.84 kilo ohms. Yep, gives us the correct current value. 